Uh, I'll just say, you know, how proud I am of the, of the students. Uh, you know, to go, to be up the way we were and then go give up three straight touchdowns and go down with three minutes left uh, or somewhere in there and then to, to make a drive like we did, just, we, we preach poise and composure and uh, I, I just can't say enough about the senior class all year long playing the schedule we did and week in and week out just going through the grind every day trying to get better. And um, we did it up till this week. You know that, that's what we just tried to do to play our best game today. And um, you know, obviously we did. And, and you know, just uh, our own line protection and Jimmy Keith. But I, I understand it's, a, it's a, almost a state record for, for passing yards and yards and total yards. It's just uh, just awesome. Really proud. Tom, what does this mean for the school? What does it mean for the kids? What does it mean for the surrounding communities? I think for the school, you know, I mean, there's a lot of champions in Sands, and it's a it's a, it's a tradition of excellence, no doubt about it, you know, across everything, even academically, the whole nine yards. And uh, so specifically, though, I think you know these kids upholding the tradition of St. Ed's, playing the way they did, leaving it all out on the field. I think that's what it's about, and uh, it just you know keeps the standard high, uh, you know, when you put on these colors to, to perform that way. Carl, as a wide receiver, can you comment on how how well Jimmy played today? Uh, all year, basically all four years, Jimmy's been the most reliable guy I've ever been around. I mean, even when I've been down, he's always helped me out. And even when I've dropped a couple or ran the wrong route, he came back to me, and that's the best thing a receiver to ask for on the quarterback. Tom, is this the best performance of the quarterback? I think that was Ellen. I think we've had the past, this is the best we've had tonight. Uh, yes, uh, you know it's interesting because uh, Mark Petrozello set a record here as a sophomore in Division Three at the time. I think he threw for over 300 yards in that state championship game, and uh, now Jimmy for 400. I'm, I'm not really known as a passing coach, but I, I'm going to have to start rethinking that. <laughs> hey, Jimmy, <clears throat> Finati leaves last year. You, you've got him coming in. He's a proven commodity. What is he? Is he meant? To, and just talk about how nice it was to, for him to step in and just continue right along. I mean, no. Uh, Having a new coach, I mean, a lot of people might not think it's easy, but I mean, I think that Coach Lombardo is honestly the best fit that we could have. And I mean, just an offensive mind like he has, and uh, just knowing all the kinds of situations, and I mean, prepared us for something like this with the schedule we played. And I mean, for a first year coach like that to not have a great relationship with the kids, but I mean, it got better as time went on. I mean, it's just unbelievable, I think. Jimmy, can you kind of take us through that final drive before you guys went out there? I mean, Coach Lombardo, I mean, he's not freaking out or anything. Um, just had all the confidence in the world in us. I mean, he knew we were going to get it done. Even if it wouldn't have, I mean, this guy would have been, he would have he would have thought that it was happening no matter what. And I mean, as a player, that's just something that you really need, I think. And just because to sh show the confidence that he has in all of us, and I mean, just all the trust that he puts in us. Have you ever had this disruptive a defensive partner with such good hands? Uh, never. I mean, me and Michael have been really good friends since freshman year. We always told each other we were going to do this. And being out there with him, I mean, I'll, you guys should probably tell from just watching the game that we're so close. We have such a tight bond together. I mean, he should be in here with me right now. I don't know where he's at, but he's a great teammate, great player, and I'm, I'm just blessed to play next to him. I mean, we, we always call ourselves the best D-line duo in the state, and we, I think we proved that tonight. Coach, could you comment on Michael O'Malley's performance? Uh, Six sacks uh, total against the strike for the whole team. Unbelievable. Uh, you know, our D-line has done it all year long, uh, you know, led by Mike and, and Kale. There he is. Uh, you know, this guy, uh, you know, there's, believe it or not, you know, many of these guys are getting overly recruited, and I just think it's, uh, you know, I, some, someone's missing out on some great football players. Um, uh, you, you just watch the tape and the players we've gone against and watch what these guys have done and their motor keeps running and their effort is unbelievable throughout and uh, our D-line kept coming and coming and coming. Uh, you know, they got a lot of athletes there. Backs we had to tackle and then, you know, a, a big line to protect and then a quarterback that's going to Michigan State with, with good targets to throw to. So, it, uh, it, it, it wears on you, but we just kept rolling. Um, me and Kyle have definitely grown through these four years as brothers. Um, it's been a pleasure working by his side. Um, we were saying it all year, we're the best duo in the state of the line. We proved it. Um, there's nothing more to be done. We've done it all. Um, I love this kid. I love everyone here. It's a great season. We'll always remember this. Kale's the best. I'm really excited to play in the game. I saw you tweeting earlier about how emotional you were. 
um, was it kind of hard to come down from that and kind of be ready, or you just wanted to be as hyped up as possible for this? No, I'm always preaching about you know beast mode and um, you know just being all hyped up like that. You know that just made me play like even you know more physical and you know more downhill and. Um, I really couldn't ask for you know a better outcome. That was you know just unbelievable. I'm so proud of my team. You know, you know I just love I love my team so much. I love my brothers. Honestly, you know it's really really emotional. And okay. not a lot of kids can say they went they went uh, you know back to back. You know, but we can. And you know this is our last game. And you know this is definitely this is definitely the best time to you know and I'm gonna know. And I'm just so blessed. And I love my team so much. Um, say right now I'm gonna be be a resilient ball player and, and come back and. No, I mean, I feel like I had resilience throughout the game. It was just, you know, they were keying on me, you know, so hard that it was, you know, kind of hard to, you know, get those, you know, big runs, you know. But I, me and my running back coach, um, Coach Powers, we kept talking about, you know, fourth quarter is my quarter and the O line's quarter, and you know, that's what I was saying. The offensive lineman, this is our quarter right here. And it turned out to be, and, you know, it's unbelievable and so blessed. Mike, what about those offs? Um, this year, Coach told me before the game we were going to run that play, so I kind of expected it. Um, it was open. I don't know. I mean, I'm just going to go out there and do my job, um, get the work done. It was great though by Jimmy, luckily. Um, I couldn't ask for anything more. Coach, could you talk about how you start throwing the ball up the field, down the side on the goal, take away his run areas as a receiver? Can you talk about that whole strategy and how it kind of opened up the whole game in a way that maybe, maybe would have been anticipated by them? Yeah, that was our game plan coming in. You know, we just thought if we did the old traditional kind of what we were doing and, and just give them the ball, they would keep up on them. So we had about six, five or six different ways to throw back misdirection type passes that got called the ball. We hit about almost every one of them. So, um, you know, the early one where, you know, we're there in the quarters coverage and we kind of took the safeties out of the middle of the field and held the mic with a little fake draw and sent them up the middle. You know, that we had that plan for, their, for, for the coverage and they executed it for them. Like running patterns downfield, you don't do that a lot. Yeah, no, it's something, you know, that I really need to, you know, incorporate more. And, you know, Coach Lombard did a great job, you know, installing that for me. And, um, you know, those plays really did turn out to be huge. Um, we were practicing it all week. And, um, you know, just going to ask for, you know, a better outcome. Because, honestly, I mean, you know, I got a lot of yards on those. So those are huge, uh, you know, plays for the game, honestly, because those led to, you know, touchdowns. So. We've had confidence in Coach Lombardo and Jimmy all year. Um, no matter the situation, I mean, We've been in games where we've been down and had to, in St. Joe's and I, uh, Jerry's, and we didn't, come, we, didn't, we didn't get the outcome that we wanted, but he had faith, and it's just all the repetitions in the summer, and it's, in these past 15 weeks have been grueling against a, one of the best schedules, if not the tough, toughest schedule in the country. So no matter what, was, what we would see tonight, we weren't going to be shell-shocked because we've seen it all. Sure, but that was shock. Yeah, knowing that you come into the game in that situation, I know you were in there with Clay Boys uh, the first half, but for you to get a release like that, you know, you're wide open. Oh yeah, and the touchdown, um, I kind of, for a block, I was going to fake a block and then roll out. Um, they were saying I'm an eligible man on the line, so I'm like, I thought they were going to block me, or cover me, but uh, I don't know, I was wide open. It worked well. It's a good call, Coach, thank you. You're welcome. Colton, come in. You know, that was, an, that was a huge play, that was an awesome play. Um, you know, you know, Jimmy Keith, man, I'm so proud of that, man. You know, just really surprised me throughout the year. You know, great kid, great attitude. And um, that play was, you know, per, uh, perfectly executed, and it was huge. And, you know, I'm just so proud of Jimmy, I'm so proud of my team. Mike, could you talk about what this means to repeat? Thinking back at the seniors, the Troy the Praise, that aren't here this year, but somehow what it means that you guys continue this thing did it again. Um, to repeat, this is awesome. I mean, people thought we were losing all these seniors that we weren't going to do anything. Um, people like Jimmy stepped up, uh, Carl stepped up, everyone on the defense stepped up. We lost a lot of spots on there. Uh, I mean, we came into the season, no one no one was going to believe in us, but we knew as a team that we were going to come in and win it all. Um, it's just been a goal since we were freshmen to win state championship. I mean, it's kind of expected, I guess, but uh, I don't know. It's, it's surreal right now. Okay, we have time for one more yeah, question. You're the, apparently the first coach to win state titles in two different teams. If you were aware of that possibility and what you think of accomplishing that. They, they told me out there in the interview, and, and that's, I wasn't aware of it. Um, I, I, you know, I, I don't know what to say. I, I, it's just great to be around. I've been, I've been blessed to be around great players and great programs. And, you know, I, I could do some small part in, in, in helping that. But, I think a lot of guys can do 
can do that when you're around great players and, and, and great kids like I've done. So, uh, you know, it's it's about them and their job and what they've done and what a you know that boy, it's, was there a better game? I mean, that game had it all. I mean, you want the art, run, shoot, passing, uh, great plays on defense. I, you know, what, what more could you ask for in a state championship game?